Yeah, I'm pissed. It was the biggest mistake of my life having Jungle over for the 4th of July with my family. But what did I know? I felt sorry for him, and it seemed like he didn't have anyone to spend it with. Little did I know he's going to order a pair of escorts out of the back of the penny saver and have them show up at my front door. I had a hell of a time explaining to my kids who the midget and the woman with the peg leg with the huge lopsided boob jobs were and why their Uncle Jungle was having them take turns peeing on him in their kiddie pool. Dressed is what he calls his sexy Uncle Sam getup, which is really nothing more than a pair of filthy cowboy boots, a way too small leopard print speedo, and a red, white, and blue top hat that he stole off a mannequin at Walgreens while shoplifting rubbers earlier this week. The rubbers, by the way, were to use as water balloons. Not to use it as disease-covered meat cannon, or whatever the hell he's calling it this week. Sick hillbilly bastard. And then, to top it all off, as soon as it got dark, my dickhead neighbor called the cops on me because of my quote-unquote illegal fireworks display. Listen, I'm an American goddamn citizen who wanted to celebrate this American goddamn holiday with some American goddamn bottle rockets in the 80s made by the Chinese and sold by a tribe of Kickapoo Indians from the back of a camper shell truck off of Highway 40 in McLeod, Oklahoma last Christmas when we drove back visiting my wife's in-laws. And I'll tell you right now, no Prius driving, eight different recycling trash can having, yoga mat carrying dipshit is going to tell me how to live my life. So what if a stray Roman candle fireball from my yard may or may not have lit his gazebo on fire? One, Stanley points his Roman candles where he wants, and two, who in the fuck has a gazebo in the first place? Get an American goddamn roof garden structure like a tool shed, you goddamn communist block backyard accoutrement loving hippie. Besides, we had that fire out in no time. That kiddie pool jungle insisted we fill up for his date really came in handy. And that midget and the one-legged prostitute were a lot stronger than they looked. They had the thing over their heads and dumped in that fire before you could say encephalitic syphilis. Which, by the way, jungle probably has. Problem solved. Problem staying solved. Rangers lead the way. <laughs>